The grass is cut, the infield mix is groomed, and we're just days away from the start of the JUCO baseball season. There's no better talent than in the NJCAA than the Panhandle Conference and the boys in Navy and Gold here in Panama City. They really like the product. They're getting set to debut out on the diamond. I think if we if we do go game by game, we will we'll do exactly what we want to do, and that's dominate. The opening national rankings of the 2023 season were released on Monday afternoon, and the Gulf Coast Commodores not in the top 25. They're not concerned, not even in the slightest, as they're used to being doubted. The Doors made some noise in the Panhandle Conference last season, and now entering year two under head coach Tyler Younger, they're ready to take the next step. I think we got a talented group this this year. Now we're going to be young. We got 16 freshmen, but I feel like we have a a, a talented group. So it's just going to be a matter of you know being consistent and learn how to be even keel and not ride the emotional roller coaster. Of the 23 players on the Commodore spring roster, nine are Bay County natives. One of those nine, returning sophomore left-handed pitcher Carson Dorsey, who led the state in strikeouts last season, was selected in the MLB draft in the summer, and this year is regarded as a consensus top three Juco pitcher in the nation. He's an animal mentally. He, he is, he's a dog. He has the, the dog mentality that everybody talks about. He has the go get it. He has the will to, and he has every bit of talent to do so. Carson has every ability to, to be a, a top draft pick in this year's draft. I mean, the guy loves to compete. He loves to win. and. I think what makes him even better is because he hates losing. With a mix of young freshman talent and several Division I veteran transfers, this season's roster for the Doors seems to have all the right pieces of the puzzle waiting to be completed. And if the picture does come together, the sky is seemingly the limit. The ultimate goal is to win a national championship, and we, we feel like we have the team that can, you know, win a conference championship and a state championship. It's just a matter of being able to put it together and, and uh, be consistent in this league. We're on a train of thought right now that we are the best team in this conference. We're the best team in the nation, and we, we have that mentality. And with that mentality, I think it will really, really carry over to the season and how we play and how we perform. And it's what we expect to do day in and day out, and that is take the conference by storm and, and win it this year and then win state and then you know, go to Grand Junction and win that too. The Commodores will head down to Bradenton, Florida this week and take on some of the top teams in the state before returning home the following weekend to host some of the top programs in the nation for a major season opening tournament at the Public Sports Park. 